Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calcon. It'll be the first budget from Prime Minister Anthony Albanese handed down next week from Parliament House in Canberra. Federal Treasurer Dr Jim Chalmers said they would continue fighting for more secure jobs and better pay for workers. He also added that the October budget would take forward initiatives from the Jobs and Skills Summit to build a bigger, better, trained and more productive workforce creating opportunities for more Australians. Labor will launch a 12-month inquiry into the rising cost of childcare in Australia starting in early 2023. The budget will invest $10.8 million to start an Australian Competition and Consumer Commission inquiry in January. Childcare costs increased by 41% over the last eight years. At his first news conference back in May, Treasure Chalmers said that with a budget that's heaving with a trillion dollars of Liberal Party debt and that it couldn't afford to spend about its $80 billion in election commitments. Many are expecting that this budget would reduce the cost of living. The Reserve Bank of Australia expects the country's economy to slow down next year as high inflation, higher consumer prices, rising interest rates and falling house prices have dampened household and personal spending. It will also be interesting to see how the federal budget responds to the uncertain global economic growth outlook, with key economies also facing higher interest rates and inflation, supply concerns with China due to the country's COVID-19 limitations and the tightening of energy markets in Europe. So what are you expecting to see in the budget? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. You can also press the bell notification for our upcoming videos. I'm Rachel for Calcone Media.